tenemos ninguna clase de actividad aquí ni nada. Le digo, una vez al mes es suficiente para nosotros. Pero tener un, un tiempo como hoy, maravilloso. As an ecological designer, I was really inspired by urban regeneration projects that were happening in big cities like New York and London and other places around the world. People who were turning concrete playgrounds into green oases. And I was really thinking, how can we combine urban regeneration with theatre? That was really kind of my premise for The Living Stage. The Living Stage is this community project by the community, for the community, and with the community, specifically residents of the Lower East Side in Manhattan. And it's bringing them together in a community garden space in order to activate the space and make it into a performance area for people of multiple generations. I really like the idea that art and theatre and stage design can be accessible to all audiences, all ages and abilities people from all walks of life. I really love the sense of community that a living stage can bring, that sense of people coming together and an opportunity for conversation. The process of the New York living stage has been quite unique. We've been in a space now that's melted apart for six weeks and we've been slowly building the living stage over time. And through that process has, have been developing a strong relationship with the community. They've been coming out and watching us through this process and contributing their thoughts and ideas um, and their creativity to this project. When you walk through the space, you'll see how different household objects have been reappropriated um, with living plants coming out of them. And actually being in New York has been amazing because there's always things to be found on the side of the road. Nothing that you really see here is new. For the living stage design concept for New York, we really were inspired by this sense of home. There's a sense of, of welcoming someone into your home and being proud of your home. And I guess that's a metaphor for life. If we see our planet as this sense of a wider home, then we might learn to love and respect it more. So my role in the project has been to assist Carolyn and Tanya in uh, repurposing all the reclaimed materials and also in the installation of the 2000 reclaimed rulers which we have suspended from the trees in the park. When we finally got all the rulers suspended at the end of a very, very long and hard day, it was a real team effort and everyone worked together really beautifully. And then when the sun was setting, it was just like a beautiful light all across the park and the rulers looked amazing. We created the play in collaboration with the fifth graders and um, a couple of the senior residents of the center. All of the text that was performed was written by the students um, and by the seniors and or it was recorded stories that they, that they told verbally. Every week we're doing creative exercises with them to sort of coax out these stories that they have inside of them concerning their home and their family life and their life in this neighborhood in the East Village in New York City and their hopes and dreams for the future and how do they see their future in this neighborhood. The Living Stage makes space for people to form these intergenerational connections. I love the idea of the Living Stage being a space where not only plants and green things live, but arts and culture live as well. Using theater specifically as a tool to envision alternative futures, to tell stories that haven't been told, to give voice to people who are not represented. We all got together. Even uh, residents from the outside came, and they enjoyed every bit of it.